You're watching another Raw Instinct commentary. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Max here, or Raw Instinct, and today I'm going to be breaking down the best assault rifle to use in Modern Warfare 3. Now, there will be a few things that we're going to be looking at. We're going to be taking a look at the damage, the rate of fire, the magazine time, and the recoil on all of these weapons. Now, I know in the last video I talked about the launcher being the last breakdown video as far as guns go, but a lot of you guys were requesting the assault rifles. Now, the only thing that was kind of holding me back was that there are so much assault rifles in this game. There's actually 10 of them. So, instead of breaking down everyone bit by bit and, uh, you know, breaking them down single, we're going to be comparing all these weapons, and I'm going to be breaking them down into diff different categories, like, you know, the strongest weapon, kind of the weakest weapon, and I'm going to be putting them into different categories. So, with that being said, guys, make sure to sit back and relax. I hope you guys are enjoying these breakdown videos. They've been getting a ton of success over the past few months, so thank you for that, guys, and let's get right into this breakdown video. Alright, so first off, as you can see here, we're going to take a look at the damage on the assault rifles. In the green, I kind of highlighted some of the very important or the high damage assault rifles, and what I did was kind of take a rough average. Now, if you're asking why the Type 95 didn't get in this category, well, from long range, as you can see there, it only does a damage of 20, and with burst weapons, you want to kind of keep your, you know, your battles from long range. Now, what we did here was break them down into three different categories. We have the low damage assault rifles, we have the medium damage, and the high damage. As you can see here, for the low damage, we have the M4A1, the SCAR-L, and the F. You know, those kind of average some of the lower um, damage charts. As far as medium goes, we have the M16, the Type 95, and the G36. Once again, the M16 and the Type 95 don't have that much of a great damage from long range, and they kind of drop off a little bit. But as far as high damage goes, we have the CM901, the ACR, the M14, which is an absolute beast. I think it does like 79 to 49 damage, or 74 to 49 damage. And the AK47, which also averages a pretty good damage of around 49 to 25. So that was kind of the breakdown of most of the assault rifles as you can see here with assault rifles you want to make sure that you're kind of picking the weapons that are either medium damage or high damage and then moving on to the rate of fire. Now, the rate of fire isn't as relevant as the damage because all of them are quite the same. You know, a lot of them are around 600 to 700 rounds per minute. But what I found really cool is with the M14, it shoots at 681 rounds per minute with rapid fire. And I think normally it shoots somewhere around 545. So if we take a look at a quick comparison here, you'll see on the left-hand side, we have the M14 without rapid fire. And on the right-hand side, we have it with rapid fire. And with rapid fire, you can go through the magazine much quicker and put out a lot more shots. So that is a big thumbs up with the M14. But uh, going back to the chart here, the only other guns that kind of stood out were the FAD, the G36 a little bit, and of course the M4A1. And then last but not least, as far as the stats go, to take a look at the magazine size, as you do know, all of the assault rifles have pretty much the same magazine size at 30 rounds, except the M14 and the FAD. Now, with the M14, you know, it only does have a 20-round magazine, but at the same time, it only takes two to three bullets to kill an enemy. So, that's kind of like a good side to it, but with the FAD, you know, a 1,000 rounds per minute with a 40-round magazine, you're going to be shooting a lot higher, but once again, take a look at the damage, it's only 30 to 24, so it's actually one of the lowest killing damage assault rifles. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering, Max, well, what two guns should I possibly use for the assault rifles, and what two guns are the best? Now, since I haven't covered these weapons before, I thought it would be good to talk about the MK-14 and the CM-901. So, first off, with the MK-14, first off, it has the best damage and accuracy pretty much in the game, besides, like, the Type 95 or the M16 goes. You know, the damage on this weapon is 75 to 49, so two shots anywhere in the body and the enemy is going to be dead so that's a really great perk to the weapon on the other hand if we look at the cm901 that has a great range recoil and bullet spread i'm going to take a look at the bullet spread right now you know typically for assault rifles you don't get that good of kind of like a bullet spread a lot of times the spread goes very high and there's a lot of recoil so as you can see here the bullet spread is very great and then also taking a look at the damage you have a base damage of 49 to 25 which is pretty damn good you know from long range across the map it'll only take you a about four bullets but from close range anywhere from two to three depending if you do pick up any headshots so definitely a big thumbs up to both the mk14 and the cm901 because i really do think that they're the big underdogs in the assault rifle category but anyways guys i hope you did enjoy the video and i hope you enjoyed the finale of our best gun in class series i'm glad we could have ended off strong with the assault rifles you know we have covered the smgs the light machine guns the snipers pretty much all these secondaries like the launchers and the pistols go so thank you for that also, remember to go in the comment section below and let me know what your favorite assault rifle is because I think everyone's going to have their own little twist on it. So, let me know in the comment section below, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, please make sure to click that like button down below. Let's try to get this video to a few thousand likes 
maybe like 8,000 if we can for our last, uh, you know, best in class series videos. Anyways, guys, it's Max here, or Ron Sync. I'm signing out. Remember to check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Link will be in the description below. Have a nice day. Peace. So if you missed any of my past two videos, now's the time to check them out. On the left hand side, we have an epic game battles match with Raw. This is like a new kind of game battle series that I'm thinking about introducing to my channel. Make sure to click that. And on the right hand side, we have the best launcher in Modern Warfare 3 with some awesome secret tips. Click either one that you'd like to watch. And remember guys, click that subscribe button up above. Peace.